Let's go live. We're live. Sounds good. All right. So welcome back to the uh, unusually timed D&D &D session. Thank you for taking time out of your undoubtedly busy schedules to make this work. We'll go right back into the recap. So last time, after foiling the assassination attempt, and uh, you returned back to the Duke Dillard Portier uh, to inform him of your success, as well as interrogate the captured Amric from him. You found that his mother was heavily involved in, well, confirmed perhaps would be the better word, of his mother's involvement with the cults in town, and you started devising a plan to go and raid and perhaps kidnap alive uh, the uh, Grand Duke uh, Van Themper, whose name, whose first name, I can never remember. Either way, who needs it? Who needs it? Ah, Thalamra, Thalamra, Thalamra. Why do all these people have terrible names? We'll, well find I'm... out next time on D and D. Anyways, so uh, as part of your planning, you would uh, snuck around, creeped around with. Uh, your good pal Nurgle to see what be what kind of uh, business you are going to get up to this coming evening. Uh, got a decent lay of the land as well as some of the defenses of the house and a possible entry point. After that, you set about preparing for the night, and we take it back now. As evening falls, I believe Eckhart was going to disguise himself as. Uh, Amrit, in order to possibly fool the your good friend, the Grand Duke. That was the plan, if memory serves. If memory serves. Let's see here. We're going to go in through the window and uh, nab her. Nab her. Try to charm her. <laughs> You were gonna be as Amric. What wasn't the first? It wasn't the yeah. Wasn't well, the, we're gonna try to go in through the it front wasn't the door. First that no, no, window sounded good, but like wasn't like wasn't it into the window? Yeah. But then disguised as Amric, yeah. Eckhart's gonna try and convince her, like, hey, like there's there's assassins in the house. We gotta get out through the window. Yeah. Okay. And then if that doesn't work, then we go for the charm. And if that doesn't work, then we brutally murder her. I mean, subdue right. her. Murder. Sounds good. <laughs> I bring you mur. murder. Murder. Half of this it's like, <laughs> it's like a three strikes your own system, you know? Yep. She's got more murder. HP than that, guys. Come on. It's like a game of horse. I gotcha. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Well, murder, she's dead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to share the screen as you find yourselves at the front gates of the Vathamper Manor Manor House. Everyone can see, I hope, I take? Yep. Perfect. I'm not entirely sure if where you have been actually saved, but mm. if you see a black screen uh, beyond the walls... <clears throat> oh, hey, why are these locked? That's strange. There we go. Freedom. <laughs> But as you may recall, you had planned previously to gain entry through the western or eastern wall, rather. But right out, right out. Up to y'all. And that's where the master bedroom appeared to be too, right? Uh, yes. So let me see here. Yeah, why don't you have a picture? Who? Who? Kia. <clears throat> she has a picture. No, I can't see it for some reason. She's just a a ghost square. Okay. <laughs> Weird. Hauntingly beautiful. Oh, because she's stealth. That's all. I'm stealthed? Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I was like, wait, I am? <laughs> so, the wall that this. encloses the villa, or uh, manor house, rather. Also, yes, you can go around the back of is a 12 foot tall stone. It doesn't look as though um, 
climbing it would be impossible to be sure to be sure doesn't look like it would be impossible it does, it does okay. not look impossible a weird way to phrase it well you know <laughs> me that's how i phrase things <laughs> i don't know what you want from me buddy oh. <laughs> i'll just whisper to the group and be like um we didn't think of this how, how are we getting up we can make a human ladder or Somebody got some rope and a grappling hook, or no? Probably should have bought that. <laughs> Say, I, do I got rope. Have, I've got rope. I just don't have a grappling hook. Yeah, I got rope, no hook. Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Please. Is there like a post up up top or anything? Let's see. Ooh, like up on the roof. That's a good idea. Well, I was even just thinking on top of the wall. Uh, no. There does not appear to be. However, um, looking at the diagram again, I believe it should be in the Discord chat. Yes. You may notice that there are these, um... Oh, the little stepping things. Yes. They go up about halfway, so we'll rule the top of those. It's about six feet off the ground. Oh, fuck. That's easy. Easy. Okay, yeah. Climb on those, well, then. That's probably right here. This thing. Yes. Okay. Yeah, like these little. Oh, Eckerd's on one too. Yep. Cool. I All noticed right, that. Let's just try to climb over. Okay, perfect. Quietly. Yeah. And then I'll have Nurgle kind of go up higher and uh, he can kind of scout to tell us when. I know it's a blind spot, but like still tell us when the guards kind of turn their backs. Sure. Let me see. Okay. So there's like a, there's like a landing, right? Am I, am I understanding that correctly? Yes. Or is it like a retainer wall? Uh, no, it's like a, uh, sorry, yeah, there's no, uh, it is a sheer stone wall on the other side. There's nothing to stand on. You'd have to go up and over, basically. Yeah, yeah. But you could probably stand okay. on your tippy toes and peer over it safely. Climbing it is not too difficult. I'm going to see if I can just move you halfway. Does that work? Can you see anything or are you blind? I can't see anything. Okay. How about... Now. now I can. Okay, perfect. Let's see. I always forget that these encounter NPCs are always um, done up in a... Uh, they start off invisible for some reason. What a terrible tragedy. Anyways, so you clamber up and as peek your head over you see i think you can see all three of them is everyone clambering up on top of these things by the way i am um, yeah yeah i'm gonna need some assistance yep i'll kind of help you and i guess we'll we'll stealth it out too eh? as best yep. we can yeah. anyone who would like to roll stealth uh and just for sanity's sake you are standing on the other Wait. side of the wall you haven't climbed oh up. hold on that that miss rolls for me. I'm at advantage because of my dampening field. Mm. So that should have. Well. Oh, I rolled double eleven, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Strange. Okay. Oh my! What an audacious building. Saying that lot. <laughs> oh, it rolled an advantage for me too. Some for some reason. Oh, because I clicked the advantage button. That's my bad. Oh, dang it. Do you want me to just re-roll that one again? No, that's fine. We'll keep it. Okay. It's no big deal. Oh, yeah. 20. So, um, you each uh, find yourselves on a little pedestal, as it were, uh, peering over the wall. and uh, Some of you are able to see these three guards here. They are starting, or they are in the process of moving um, westward away from you. Let's see. Can I... Uh, what a shame. What a damn shame. They do not seem to have noticed you. Eckhard and uh, Asmodeus, as you creep, peek your head over the uh, wall there, some loose stones clatter into the courtyard below. The guards seem to have been too far away to hear that for now talking amongst themselves as they are. They uh, rolled very, very poorly. 
<laughs> um, for now, they continue their slow patrol that way. So what is everyone doing? I'm just looking up something real quick. Go, everyone else, go ahead. Sounds good. I am following the lead. Yep. Yeah, I would guess we'd want Eckard and then Kia behind Eckard going into that window. All right, let's see. Maybe Asmodeus following them up and I'll, I'll hold the, the rear. All right. The wall that that you're touching right now, Eckhart, is actually um, uh, attached to like the uh, overhang that you wanted to climb up uh, in order to get into the master bedroom. And it is also um, a sheer wall. This one would is about 15 feet to the roof surface will be okay. difficult to clamber up there. And this is the uh, the bedroom that we want to get to, you said? Yes. Uh, a little further north. It actually is over... Oop. Based on your earlier scouting, over here. So this would be where we would want to climb up then? Mm -hmm. That whole section is roofed, however, so uh, anywhere along here you could climb up and be where you about where you want to be. But again, it is a 15 foot. You probably would require assistance. Okay. I can help you out, Akkad. All right. Um, in <laughs> then that maybe case... you can tie something else and drop down a rope. All right. In that case. Oof. All right. Uh, yeah, that's what I try to do. All right. What, are you uh, trying to backflip off my shoulders? <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm just I didn't, kidding. I didn't know whether it would... I guess, I, I guess athletics probably would have been a better option. Athletics for climbing, yes. Uh, I just right. thought it was just kind of funny. Just a funny <laughs> picture in my mind. I'll Maybe just acrobats. Yeah, uh, and with advantage because you are being aided, yes. There you go. Nice. So, you managed to scramble your way uh, onto the rooftop surface. Allow me a moment to get the map up for you. I'm going to be sharing this one as well. Uh, I got to shrink this. I got to buy another monitor is what I got to do. Gotta. Just gotta. gotta. I gots to. Yeah. I, I gots to. I gots to. For sure, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> All right. And... There we go. Share record. There we go. Eckard, you are now on the floor above. Uh, finding yourself standing on a uh, gently sloping roof to your immediate uh, west. You see the second story. The, and uh, one of the room windows is, of course, curtain. The other open, revealing the bedroom beyond. Okay, before we do anything, I go ahead and I take the one rope that I have from my bag and I'll lower it down for the rest of the party to get them up here first. That's good. Yeah. We all go up? Makes sense to me. Yep. Kind of figure out an or you figure out an order that uh allows y'all to uh work together climbing up easy enough. Let me get everyone on the roof. Second. Beautiful. So, I think you guys should be able to. Tokens are locked again. Tokens are locked. What a terrible tragedy. I also see someone. There we go. Hmm. There we go. Perfect. 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 It's all working out. So you're all standing on this low slanted roof.
Are our stealth rolls still holding, or do we need to be uh, new stealth for here, please? Shouldn't miss anything. Yes, sir. Well, mine sucks, so I'm actually kind of thankful. <laughs> That's better. We'll still treat your um, disadvantage stealths as. Um, yeah, I just keep forgetting. 19. Okay, perfect. Or not uh -oh. 19. 20. I don't know how to count. Don't worry. It's fine. Uh oh. It's okay. It's fine. It's okay. Group roll. Group roll. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> it wasn't a count. natural one, so you're good. Probably. Probably. So, as you creep about the rooftops, what are you doing? I'm trying to sneak, or not sneak, but uh, just uh, sneak a glance into the um, the the mirror, or mirrors, the windows. That's strange. Why this one is? Uh, you should curtains. Curtains. All right. I don't know. Oh. Probably. Oh. Um. Mirror. Sorry. The curtain room that you're looking into right now. Yes. Okay. Uh. Yeah. You see. Uh. The backside of a curtain, but uh, around uh, around it, you can make out um, a chest in the northern corner. Uh, however, it is, without opening the window, it is difficult to ascertain anything more. Should have figured that. Hmm. One was open? Uh, the northernmost one, yes. This one? Okay. I don't know why you can't see through it properly. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Well, I think it's because I... Hold on. There we go. How did you... Ah, perfect. I clicked and dragged my own guy. And... Number pad. Okay, I will try to sneak in. All right. Yeah, the window, you find it to be unlocked. You should be able to access it. It is already open, actually. And I'm going to tell uh, Nurgle to come onto my shoulder. Sounds good. So, you find yourself once again in the master bed chamber. Um, I do not understand. I can see, like I said, I can see what you guys can see, kind of, but it's confusing. <coughs> Anyways. Was it like a partition there that I can't see through or something? Yes, there is a freestanding pri wooden privacy screen. Uh... A canopy bed with a gossamer shroud, I believe we've... A cast iron bathtub with clawed feet, a fireplace, and a padlocked iron chest. The padlock is cast in the shape of a horned devil's scowling visage. There is no one else. There is no one in this room. Fuck. God damn it. Guys, there's no one here. Uh... Search the room a little bit. There's a chest. This one? Yes. Just, just, uh, leave it. No, I'm going to open it. Is it locked? Gonna, no, it is we're going to have to. <laughs> Damn. I can't do we anything about that. Quickly. So we should we to... continue through the house? I know that there's a statue beyond this one door that will come alive if we go through. Uh, then no. What time is it? Let's see. Well, you guys, uh, how long would you have waited it, it until dark? Until like it is. I was thinking like midnight, but that's just yeah, yeah. absolutely. Like, we want to catch her in bed, right? So like, <clears throat> sorry, so keep not coughing in bed your ears. Okay, so she, so she's not in bed right now. Hmm. She's not in bed. Hey, unless this is not her bed. Mm, yeah, I guess so. Or she's downstairs doing evil things. They do connect or conduct business at night. Yeah, we didn't think of that, did we? Oh, well, let's, go, let's, let's follow the plan. Let's follow the plan. So, um, what's this door? Uh, it appears to be a dumb waiter. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> open it and listen. You hear no sounds below, but you do see the dumb waiter. Uh, shaft is unoccupied. Seems to uh, <clears throat> drop down to the floor below into a enclosed room similar to like uh, I would know it that it goes into the kitchen, right? You I, I think everyone knows that it goes into the kitchen. Well, yeah, everyone knows it goes. <laughs> in. We can go down the 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 dumb waiter. Well, to get to the kitchens to get down cuz we can't go through this door. A good idea in general, but 
Um, should should we stick with the with that with Eckard leading the way? Yes, he lives probably. Here, right? He lives here. Oh, That's absolutely. Uh, yes. <clears throat> We can Maybe stay I, here. Yeah, if you want, and I can send Nurgle. I can send Nurgle with you, um, either invisible or not. That's up to you. Ah, I'm good either way on that one. I'll just say invisible, just not to arouse suspicion. I I almost feel like we all should go just with him, like we're his his new. We could f- follow guards. Yes. New guards or new, I don't know, whatever you want to call us. Uh, well, yeah, okay, I'll try. <laughs> I don't hear anything from downstairs. Do I see a light? I guess not, because it's closed. No. Downstairs, no, probably. Do so I will try to bring up the dumb waiter. Yeah, no, you can easily do that. Um, just kind of... Quietly as possible. <laughs> gently pull up the... Uh, uh, sup- uh, what a, what's the word? I'm looking here. Ropes that police, uh, pulley that, uh, yeah, work the elevation. Oh, you had some trouble there, Ben. Ah, nice. I just had to manually drag it in there. Mm-hmm. I was mm-hmm. trying to use the arrow keys and it wasn't working. Yeah, I tried doing the same thing earlier. <laughs> so it uh, arrives at your level. All right, Eckhart, get in. <laughs> Wait, why is he? Why would he? Why would he? Unless you want to go through the front door. I still don't suggest that we go through this door. Well, maybe it won't attack because Eckhart's there, you know? Would you like to risk it? You know, it would seem kind of weird if for um, um, Amrick to just suddenly be in his mother's bedroom with, like, Mm -hmm. three other people. Yep. So, in I go. All right. I'm going to sneak down to the basement. I think that's the best idea at this at this time. All right. Okay. There's no other I'll look. bedrooms up here? Uh, I didn't get to look. Okay. And I will lower Eckhart down. Oh, I will also <laughs> say that you would remember that the next room, it's not this room. Oh, there's one more. Oh, this is goes into the hallway? It's not this room. This room leads to a different, uh, like a powder room almost. It's the one. Oh, that. okay, gotcha. Never mind. Let's go in this one first. <laughs> <laughs> Just like cram. <laughs> Wait, no. Wait, Eckhart, stay there. Let me check this room first, and I'll list. I'll just listen first. See You're if there's protection. anybody. Yep. Uh, this one. You don't hear anything on the other Nothing. side. Nothing. Okay, I'll creak it open slowly. So, um, you come face to face with yourself uh, at the other end of the room. But after a moment, you realize, oh, no, never mind. That's just a mirror. That's just a handsome person a ha- standing there's handsome, there. There's a handsome <laughs> guard in here. <laughs> They'll walk in. Yeah. So, this room contains a vanity topped with the <laughs> aforementioned mirror, bottles of perfume, brushes, cosmetics, needles, and spools of thread. Other furnishings include a folding wooden partition adorned with a bird of prey rendered in gold leaf, a tall black wardrobe, and a decorative rug laid out in front of three um, uh, three wooden chests. Check the chests, see if they're locked. None of them seem to be locked. I opened this one. Uh, you open it up, and you find it to be full of shoes of all different styles. Well, next one. <laughs> uh, three old bridal gowns. Also worthless. Next one. This one uh, <laughs> contains, quote, seasonal hats. I will take one of the most fashionable ones. Yes. Uh, what kind of hat would you like to take? Uh, to I would like one with me? a big feather on it. I, you know what? <laughs> I immediately was thinking uh, of Big Feather. Yes, absolutely. Like one of those like musketeer hats with the big feather. Yes. <laughs> you absolutely love it. One of those. All right, I put that on. And then, so I know that the, the, the door animated door. armor is yeah okay that one. And you know that the door to the west, uh, at least you be- or at least you believe it to be guarded. The door to the west. Okay. 
I will listen at the door to see if I can hear anything. Sounds good. Oops. Thought I'd double click that. Oh, there you go. Ah, uh, almost a 20. Nice. Yeah, so you uh, put your ear to the door. Um, you hear faint snoring from the other side. Okay, Eckhart. Eckhart, we're going this way. Change the plans. <laughs> As he's crawling in the dumb way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me one second here. The guy trying to crawl out, I'm like guys, guys, I'm stuck. Like I just, <laughs> you guys see me like leave, leave that room, and then I come back with a really fucking pompadour hat. He pop it, <laughs> pop his hat. Yeah. <laughs> guys, come on. And I'm okay. just kind of like, I'm just kind of like halfway in the dumb way, and I'm like, seriously. <laughs> All right. Did that? Are you guys able to see this guy or no? Yes. I am. Okay. Hmm. How? What guy? I don't see anybody. For real? I'm anyways, okay. That's weird. Oh, that guy. That's through okay. the door? For some reason some of you can see him through the door and some of you can't. That's weird. I yeah. didn't. Yeah. Oh well well for, well you know he's there. <laughs> yeah. I know somebody's snoring on the other side of this door. Yes. Is he? Oh fuck! Is he leaning on the door? Is the fucking question. Ina's unicorn power gives me sight beyond sight. <laughs> sight through <laughs> walls. Um. Does this door swing in or out? Uh it swings in. Fuck! If he's leaning against it, we're fucked. Never mind. Back to the dumbwaiter idea. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you guys let me lead. <laughs> My mind changes often. Oh, why can't I see through that door now? Who opened that door? Or can I just see through it now for some reason? No, it's been opened. I opened it. I just very, very gently opened it and just yep. peeked my head through it. The armor uh, is in its corner. Um, standing, uh, where's the, uh, standing at attention. It is not moving. Okay. Um, I think I'll just quick flash in here. It immediately, um, the eyes light with flaming orange, oh, and it reaches for you as you shut the door behind its face. <laughs> well, I think I caused an incident. Let's get out of here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on a second. Wait if it's, see if it's banging on the door. Nothing. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, the magic of such a thing would be like a sentinel, right? It, it likely wouldn't leave the room. Yes, I agree. But there is a guard on the other side of that door, so what would you suggest, that guard? Uh, I'd say let's go back to the dumbwaiter idea. That's the best one we've got yet. All right, dumbwaiter. Kia, or... you're the smallest. <laughs> you open the door, Eckerd, and you scold him for doing such a poor job of guarding your mother. And send him off to somewhere, right? Oh yes. Yeah, try to like try to like open it and then uh but get out real quick. Like you just kinda opened it from his side. As if you're there on purpose. Yes. You don't need to be cautious about opening a door. Alright. <clears throat> well I'll go ahead and I'll reopen it. Uh, that one. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll hide behind I'm gonna hide behind this door. partition. Yeah. Just like crouching behind this stuff here, like getting ready. Yep. And just go in and just stride confidently in and just stare at the sentinel and be like, No, not no, that no, one. No, 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 no. The other one, the other one, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> they mean the, guy, um, the human. The guy guard. sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, there's a guy sleeping against this door. Yeah. This door. Just pull it up. Just pull it open. Uh, let's see. All right. I will go ahead and I will do that then. So. In disguise as Amrik, I'm assuming. Yes. Yep. You pro you pull open the door, and you find the guard, a uh, man, uh, leaning against uh, the yeah back against the door. You pull it open, and he falls over on his back. Um, <laughs> his eyes <laughs> blink open, and he like grabs at his uh, he 
he grabs at his spear, um, and like gets her. He's like, "What? Who's there?" And I just kind of gather up my, uh, my, uh, what's the term I'm thinking of here? I just kind of snip gowl down at him in like the most scathing expression I could think of, and in my best impression of Amrick, I'd be like, "You call yourself a god." <laughs> oh, um, uh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your lordship ain't like gets up to his uh, I. Uh, <clears throat> You see, it's a late night with that. <clears throat> I'm, it won't happen again, sir. See to it that it doesn't. <laughs> yes, um, r- right away. So he, like, flashes a quick salute and, like, hurries back to his post just outside the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Like, uh, nervously, like, looking over his shoulder at you out of the corner of his eye. <laughs> All right, then, uh, what do we do now? Do we just walk right past him as if nothing happened? Yeah, just go. Yeah, sorry, yeah, you can. No, we'll follow, we'll follow, we'll follow, like, we belong here. He just lets you go. Um, uh, We're all gonna follow, okay? Yep, yep. Yep. I'm stupid, but fine. He he nervously, like, um, nods uh, as you all, like, file out. You see, if I was bodyguard, I would never be caught sleeping on the job. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, sir. That won't happen again. You better not. And then I I'll don't nudge. Want to the... have to replace you. And then I'll nudge the guard as the last one out and be like, "Oh, don't worry. I'll uh, I'll put in a good word for you." Oh, I appreciate it, sir. And I'll call out. Uh, aren't we going downstairs, Emmerich? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I kind of pause and I'm like you know as my bodyguard maybe you should take point after all you are to guard me very well as the lord wishes <laughs> and I'll make my way downstairs <laughs> Ah, this is going. As... This is this is going perfectly to plan. Yeah. Poker face, poker face. All right, all right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's if you if you are if you bullshit hard enough, they can't deny. Um, I'm just gonna put you on the stairs in yep. Yep. some sort of an order. Poker face, poker face. Damn. Throwback. Good deception. It's a good. It's a good throwback. And finally, Viridian. Oops. Why is there two of you? How did this happen? <laughs> it wasn't me. It was the other guy. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Everyone can see. Uh, everyone's yeah. good. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I wow. actually don't know where the down, like the stairs to go down any further. All I did was explore the upstairs, so I'm like lost. Oh no. <laughs> so, but it, he's gonna. Doing. I'm just gonna basically just. Yeah, I'm going to wing it. <laughs> so, black curtains are drawn over the windows to the south, keeping this hall dark and cool. Um, let's see here. You come out of the warden staircase to the north. This gallery contains an eclectic collection of tapestries, paintings, and alabaster busts on pedestals, seemingly meant to impress guests. Uh, let's see. It is <laughs> this haphazardly assembled collection is a testament to bad taste. Yep. A six uh. foot tall wax statue stands in one corner, depicting uh, Duke uh, Van Thumper cradling the family pet, a cat with wings. It has mm. a wax rat in its mouth. Mm. Sorry, it was the Duke that's standing there. The that is the uh, the title for both male and female. It is the uh... yeah. So it's Lady Ventham, uh, but yeah. still Duke. Okay, yeah. but she's standing there. Yeah. It's the wax. Yeah, it's it's a... wax. Yeah. At okay, first, like, gotcha. I'm like, oh fuck, and then you're like, uh, it is described as lifelike. Sorry, I got distracted for a sec. Um, 
How thin? Where is it? At the end of the hall? Yes, if you uh, just walk a little bit further south, you'll see it around. That oh. Way. Yes. Okay. Whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> a very lifelike, and I will poke it. <laughs> it uh, poke stares it back at you coolly. And, and the cat is also wax? It appears to be, yes. I poke it as well. Making sure nothing comes to life. Yep. Nothing comes to life. Okay. Now, how is the guessing game? I believe this is the kitchens. Wait. Yeah. Wait. Yes. Before we get any further and we run into anybody, if uh, somebody catches us and we look lost, make it look like you're taking us on a tour. Or inspecting the grounds. Uh, yes, yes. But, uh, I don't know why I'd be giving Lord Emmerick a tour of his own I, place. Well, but Emmerich could be saying, like, you're leading the way and we're on the tour. But no, inspecting the grounds makes much more sense. Because <laughs> I am a bodyguard and I'm just making sure it looks good for Lord Emmerich. Good thinking, yep. good thinking. Yep. Also, Kia, you need to use magic if they don't believe me. Uh, yes. Okay. Also, I'm, gonna... I'm not seeing anything in terms of a map or anything. I'm just getting a black screen on my end. Click on your guy. Yeah, you might be. Um, it might be because you're kind oh. of just in a little tiny corner. Yeah, that, that too. Would do it. There you go. I'm gonna listen to this door here. Roll perception. A lot of perceptions. Fuck. Nothing. You you hear nothing on the other side. I don't like the looks of that room. That is the kitchen, Eckhart. Or Emmerich. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and I will listen at this door. <laughs> Fuck, Again. I suck at these. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> it sounds quiet on the other it, side. I will creak open the door and just kind of see if I see what I see. Very well. Uh, you peer into this dark room uh, black curtains drawn over the windows to the south that was the wrong room there we go uh, black curtains drawn over all the windows in this room um, the furniture being an austere high backed chair facing a pair of padded couches and a coffee table um, the thin drapes cover the windows which in daylight you imagine would diffuse natural light. And the walls are lined with framed paintings of the Duke, her uh, three men um, that you don't recognize, a the winged cat, and uh, a portrait each of Amric Mortlock and another man you do not recognize. Nobody's in here. Okay, Nobody so is in here. Okay. This one. Oh, great. <clears throat> Sorry. No problem. Let's see. Uh, on the plus side, at least you can't roll any lower than your passive, so. Yep. Oh, yeah, what is Fair. your passive? 11. 11? Okay. <clears throat> well, um, you hear no signs of life on the other side of this. No. Creak it open. All right. So, uh, this appears to be the entrance foyer of the building. A uh, plaster sh shelf lined with ornate vases circles the room at a height of nine feet. That's very specific. Anyways, spreading across the flagstone floor is a ten-foot-wide, ten-foot-long rug of exquisite design, depicting a royal coronation. Two tapestries hanging on the walls depict a flying dragon over a ship and pilgrims on camels, respectively. Mm. So that's the door. So these are the doors out. Most likely. So this... Where the heck does this go? <clears throat> Yay, passive. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear um, the sounds of people snoring on the other side of this door. As in multiple people. Yeah, it must be the barracks or 
where the soldiers sleep. Maids. Oh, the maids. Yes. All right. Nothing this way. Okay. Through here, maybe. Again, I don't know why I'm leading. You're doing great. <laughs> uh, you listen to this room sounds <laughs> empty as well. Open. So, an iron wrought chandelier hangs above a black oak dining table surrounded by eight high back chairs carved to look like devils. It appears as though the Van Thumper family is not one for subtlety. A fireplace dominates one wall to the west, flanked by red curtained windows. A handsome glass doored ca wine cabinet stands against the eastern wall to your right. Well, I'm lost. I don't know where the secret entrance is to get into the basement. I... Wait. Yes. I think this might be our way in. What I is mean, They're not hiding the fact that they enjoy devils and devil worship. Then wouldn't we think that the secret hideout underneath the house would be led there from here? Could be. Could be. Plausible. Also, I'm well, not sharing any of this. I'm whispering as... No, I, as I'm, as I uh, I'm going to assume that you're not going to do anything that would draw attention to yourself, if yeah. you can help yeah. it. Yeah. So there wouldn't be anything behind this wall. Wouldn't be anything behind this wall. Could check the fireplace. Yeah, can I investigate the fireplace to just see, like, if there's sure. any type of like latches or mechanisms or something. Sure. Roll me an investigation check. Mm -hmm. I want to check like bookshelves or mantles. Mm -hmm. Like what are these two things along the wall here? Uh, one of them is a table that appears to be used for setting food. Well, that's the northern thing uh, and cutlery and the like before uh, it is distributed to the guests at the dinner table. And what you're standing in front of right now is a glass-doored wine cabinet, which contains eight red crystal goblets and 16 bottles of wine. Hmm. Do I need to roll investigation for this? To look at and see? Well, what are you? You're looking for any sort of. Uh, yeah, I'm like yeah. pulling on things, trying not to break them or move them around and make too much noise, but like mm -hmm. yeah, looking absolutely. for anything that looks obvious. So yeah, you uh, both of you quickly go over everything, uh, searching for any sort of hidden mechanisms. There doesn't seem to be anything that you can find in here. Everything seems to be uh, as it is, if that makes any sense. Uh, Hmm. The only mechanism you do find is a rope and pulley mechanism that seems to be connected to the chandelier. Hmm. Oh. Can one of you smart people check out this painting down here? Sure. I think this, this is a painting, right? Uh, probably. They just assume that they're on the walls. <clears throat> yep. No, I just because it wasn't a door, so I just kind of assumed it was something. Mm-hmm. Oof. Uh, what, what are you trying what to painting? Like... What painting am I? What... Uh, the, one right, right beside, the one where you're right beside. But can you, you, can you... Do you do? <laughs> see can if you there's something out... behind it or. Sorry. Oh, anyone can do that. Uh, here, come here. Come here and help me with this. This one. Please. Okay. So, we, if somebody will assist me with that. I will come I and will. assist. Yeah, oh, Everyone cla uh, clamors together. Yes, perfect. I'm gonna go sit on the couch. <laughs> so you uh, go search around behind the painting. Seems to only have the wall behind it. No levers or anything or button buttons. Whip out a hammer. No. There's something behind the wall. No. I'm kidding. There is here, help me. The outside. A bunch of these random right. curtains. <laughs> I'm gonna pull back this curtain. Uh, it's a tapestry, actually. Oh, seven, nine. Oh, I will still look behind it. Wall. It seems as though their uh, love for hidden compartments is not. Uh, Damn. The only place applied. left is the kitchen. Or some other <laughs> place that we have to go through the, the uh, freaking statue thing. 
Anyways, I'm gonna listen through what here. What is see this? If somebody's cooking. What is this? The, this star here is the the wax. Uh, it is a wax oh, statue. Yes. Hmm. You hear nothing on the other side of that door. I will creak it open because this is where I saw the fucking cat, so I don't want it to see me. So, uh, pots, pans, utensils of all sorts dangle from above three wooden preparation tables in the center of the room, and the shelves are lined with bowls, platters, herbs, spices, dried goods. Uh, let's see. Part of your view into the room is blocked by what you can only assume to be the dumbwaiter shaft as it disappears into the ceiling. A tiny bell nearby is attached to a thin piece of string that disappears up the f above as well. Do I hear anything through this door here uh, on the north? Yes, you actually do. You hear um, three voices, uh, di fairly distant, but uh, they seem to be discussing something, uh, laughing, joking. Sounds like it might be a patrol. Okay, I'll ignore that then. I'm going to peek around this corner. Here, let's see here. If I can get this token to place correctly. Uh-oh. Did that work? Cat, I knew it. I knew it was here. Yep, I see it. A winged cat stares at you, a uh, rat in its mouth. I take a step back. Fucking cat. Might have been made. I'll step forward. Just... <laughs> it's true. Okay. Because if it if it recognizes me, then it probably won't think anything, you know, out of the ordinary. Family pet and all. Let's see. What if I do this? Is this the right way to do this? Ah, perfect, perfect. Allow me a moment to fix. Looks that. like it's clear, my lord. <laughs> 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 I'll start strutting around. There we go. And uh -oh. I'll set that to something else as well. There we go. And cat can understand English. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> it's yellow. We're safe. Somewhat. Cat just stares at you. Uh I just Watches stare back. As you uh, make your way about the kitchen. Is there, are these doors to the outside, or are they windows? Uh, those are windows. Okay, that's what I thought. You're those are doors that you're standing by, though. These ones are doors. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will check this one. Ah! You hear that was snoring almost a 17. Oh, it's probably the... Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. No sound. Open. That just Cat. goes out, uh, outside, doesn't it? It actually does not. It leads into what appears to be a pantry. The cat starts to dash towards the open door. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'll get out of the way. <laughs> In oh, Once inside, the cat uh, starts trying to get into some of the food. Shit, get it out of there. Get it out of there. Nope. <laughs> it's gonna the, fuck up everything. The, 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 Unless the secret the entrance is in there. Yes. Fuck. Hey. Yes. I searched oh, for it. a bowl here in the kitchen. Easy right. enough to find. Somebody else touch. I say I take a bowl. I'll head in to the to the uh, to the pantry here. Mm -hmm. I'll see if I can't find some uh, proper food to feed this little guy. It is easy enough. Uh, there's all manner of food and drink stored in this musty room. If you can imagine something, uh, you can find it, essentially. Um, so you search around, you find maybe some dried meats, some vegetables, fruits, more fresh things, and the like. Um, place them in a bowl and offer them to the cat. Pretty much is whatever... Uh... This winged cat would probably have a diet for. All right. So you place it on the ground. The cat starts purring loudly. I say I reach out and I uh, stroke behind its ears, scritch behind its ears. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Go down its its back. The cat seems appreciative. Ask it where its mother is. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I don't speak animal, but I'll see if I can't communicate with it, and I ask it where Mother might be. Cat uh, looks at you for a moment, um, and then uh, darts out between your legs and over to this door here. She's huh. behind there. <laughs> so, it um, contains... Take, takes off. <laughs> a barrel... <laughs> of uh, fresh water and a brick-walled staircase that descends downwards. Oh, good Uh, kitty. I I thought that led outdoors. I say I put on another bowl and fill it with water, Mm -hmm. and I make sure that he's got plenty of food and water. I scratch him behind his ears again and thank him for his assistance. Sounds good. Give me a second to figure out where this actually leads you. Perfect. Then, Eckhard, you might want to lead from now on. All right, I'll go ahead yep. and take. I know where it leads to now. Give me a. Uh, I don't okay. know if my uh, recording. I think I accidentally my finger slipped off the uh, uh, push to talk. But yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll take point at this point. Sounds good. Perfect. Okay. I'll place everyone onto the map. So echoed first, followed by. As for this. I just had like the most ridiculous. Oh! Oh no! So, you descend down the stairs. Let's see what happens. there a third map that I'm supposed to be getting here? Yes. Sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. No problem. Just making sure that I get this room correct. <laughs> so when you were saying that you were trying to find where we were going, and then you were like, ah, yes. All in, my, in my head, all I could hear was <laughs> So. Why? I don't know. You, uh, everyone have the map? Yep. Uh, yep. Okay. It's uh, you know, decently large, I suppose. So you might need to locate yourselves. But four stone pillars brace the ten-foot-high vaulted ceiling of this dry cellar. The walls of which are lined by a dozen barrels on wooden braces. Half the barrels have brass spigots tapped into them. And the room also contains two stacks of wooden crates. One in the middle of the room, and another by the south wall. Forgive me. It's all good. Let's see here. How does disguise self work again? It lasts like an hour. Mm -hmm. I always forget. Let's say, yeah, how long have we been in this area here? Not not an hour. (laughs) Not an hour at all. Thank Lord. Good. We'll check this door. Just cause, fuck it. I check everything. I must do everything in this party. Let's say I Perform. check this one over here. Let's see. Performance or Perform a serenade to the door. Same difference, so it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, oops. I hit the That's wrong one. It's all uh, good. Let me see here. So I got a plus three bonus on both anyway. Yeah, so, yeah. Say, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, you don't hear anything on the other side of that door. Uh, Asmodeus, let me see. That's funny. I didn't even notice. I hit the wrong one. <laughs> okay. Uh, you hear um, a pair of uh, voices talking on the other side of that door. 
on the other side of this door. Okay. I guess I'll go ahead and I'll very carefully open this one. No, right. no. Oh, no. So. And by open it, I mean I like I just very carefully creak it open just to peek through. Sure, roll stealth then, in this case. Let's see. Okay, they do not seem to have noticed you. They are having a uh, hushed conversation. Okay. I just kind of look over my shoulder and just kind of <coughs> mention to the uh, others, like, cultists. <laughs> No sign of the Duchess, Duke, Dutch Duke. I just shake uh, my head. Here's the description of what they look like. Um, dressed in black robes, each carrying a censer and wearing a thin gold mask shaped like a devil's face. The censer contains burning incense, uh, doing its best to mask the... Um, smell of this of what it seems to be the sewers beyond just go and kill them i can try to pretend to be one of them with nurgle say so i look over at key and Bridian. or you can try and go and talk to them they probably know emrick if we can do didn't Emmerich say he's never been here? He never knew where his mother was? Probably lying. Okay. <clears throat> if we have to, just do it no quietly. Idea. Just do it quietly, if, if need be. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was wondering if we should maybe do like a sneak attack or something, just kind of like take these guys by surprise. Yeah, like in Hitman. What's that? <laughs> oh. Can uh, man. Hitmen use these tactics where they sneak up behind you and like cover your mouth so that you don't hear what they what they say, and then you like you cover their mouth so they don't they can't hear what you oh, say. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Don't make yeah, let's let them let, let, yeah, let them do it. Get them, boys! Get them! It's the kitty bone. <laughs> the the cat re emerges. Oh god damn it! Ah oh, fuck. Is the and, Duke uh, right behind her? We're right behind it. And goes and uh, nuzzles up against uh, Eckhart's leg as he's peering through the door. I reach uh, down and just kind of like pet his head and like. Uh. I think just I think the plan, uh, Eckhart, is just go in, talk to them. Uh, if they suspect something, then we kill them. All right. But I don't know. Nah, that's the plan. Do it. Yep, do it. Do it. <clears throat> okay, I'll go ahead and I'll open up the door fully this time. Mm -hmm. And I'll uh, step on through. So. I'll have Nurgle reveal himself, and I'll be right behind him. Sounds good. Um, <clears throat> the two cultists uh, cease their conversation. They both turn to face you at this, um, now you can see their devil masks are both unique. Um, it says they're described as covering... God, these are just luchador masks, for fuck's sake. They cover <laughs> over his whole face except for the eyes, nostrils, and mouth. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, and they are, And no two are alike, apparently. Uh, they turn to face you, and they say, Ah, Lord Amrick, it's good to see you. You are not due here for a while. And I say, yeah, no, I just, uh, give him my best impression. I'm afraid something urgent has come up. I must speak to my mother immediately. Urgent, you say? Very yes, well. quite the utmost importance, I'm afraid. Come this way, we're just finishing our rounds. Very well. 
let's see here. As they lead you through, give me one second to just quickly double check where everyone is. Correct. Probably here. Oh, none of these rooms are labeled for me. Where? <clears throat> where, where? Is the mother? <laughs> Sorry about the delay, my friend. No problem. No, you're good. Ah, found her. Okay, good. Good. So they lead you through the uh, tunnels. They can only teleport, unfortunately, so people are going to have to keep up as best they can. <clears throat> All righty. How did you double check? Sure. Uh, all right. Follows along behind. No one gives a fuck about the cat. Oops. I need to zoom out. There we go. So, as um, the two cultists uh, make their way through. Let's see where. There we go. Perfect. 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 Sorry. And then. They arrive in front of these large double doors and push them open, striding inside. Of course, everything <laughs> must be. There we go. And this is the scene that you are greeted by upon entering this room. Oh my god, it's hideous. What is it? So, let's see here. <clears throat> so, the, uh, I, uh, that is a large, uh, what would they describe it as? Two rows of wrought iron candlesticks light this vaulted chamber, each one bearing nine flickering candles. A seven-foot-tall statue of an angel with white glowing eyes and a lance long sword stands atop a dais to the south. A six-foot-tall fiend bristling with spikes stands west of the statue, glaring at four black-robed cultists who kneel and chant in the middle of the room, their faces hidden behind golden devil masks. Nine tapestries depict the layers of the nine depicting the layers of the nine hills adorn the walls. Let's see. So aren't you gonna say um is Loud it... enough that 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 the group like that the uh, the six of us here could hear it, but hope that not loud enough that like let's say the the devil could hear it, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna say to the one cultist, "Oh my, it, is that his mother?" <laughs> <laughs> um, the cultist looks at you for a moment and then uh, whispers back, "No." That is Lord Odious. 
Um, yes, of course. I, no, is. I'm just paid to keep this guy safe. Whatever. This is weird, but whatever. I just silently wait for uh, the Duke to notice that we're here. here. All right. Let's see. So, um, you just wait for the uh, chanting to cease. I take it. Yeah. All right. So. Um. Hmm, 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 hmm. Ah, here we go. After a while, the uh, cultists finish their chant, get themselves to their feet. The uh, barbed devil, as it were. Um, ah, okay, perfect. I am so smart. Uh, casting a uh, fiendish gaze over the uh, assembled folks. Let's see. After they finish and collect themselves, a scraping sound is heard to the south as a imposing woman appears. Let's see. Here's a picture of uh, Duke Thalamra. Thalamra? Ooh. Oh, oh, fuck. That woman is fucking butch. built. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. She is um, <laughs> very um, well built, actually. As though she grew up in a life of hard labor, they uh, barely disguised by her um, fine uh, clothing, as it were. Yes. Uh, let's see. Wow, this is a weirdly written section for her. But anyways. She closes the door behind her and uh, spreads her arms wide, seeing uh, Eckhard. Says, Ah! Amric, my dear boy, I was beginning to worry about you. Where have you been? And I respond back, I've been underground, mother. I say, I can... uh, Go ahead. She says, I can see that you are currently underground. I uh, fake a smile as if, you know, in mm -hmm. good humor. But then my uh, expression goes suddenly serious and I uh, kind of gesture to my companions. I said, Mother, something urgent has come up. Uh, may we have a word in private, just the Five of us. Of course, of course. Um, she looks at the assembled crowd, um, dismissively, and uh, says, "Ah, let us go back upstairs." Can I say I give a single nod? And turn around and walk right back out. Sure. Let me quickly do some cleanup around here. And I will get us back to where she leads you to. I will be the last to leave. I'll bow to the other cultists. Mm -hmm. And as I'm going out the door, I'll just cast Prestidigitation and have a shower of sparks. <laughs> awesome. Leave me out. I bid you good day, fellows. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we are all Flashing. going to die. Yep. <laughs> we are so dead. So we are you are so led. <laughs> I can't help being fancy, all right? It was a crowded room. I had an audience. I had to take my chance. So you are led back up. Um, 
Uh, we're not going to go through it. Back to the sitting room, as it were. The parlor. In the actual house, okay. Yes. Um, she takes a seat in her uh, imposing... Uh, th I guess the best word for it would be throne. Um, and invites you all to uh, crowd around. Says, well, now, my son, what what troubles you? I say I take a seat and I put my elbow on my knee, my chin on my uh, hand, as if I'm thinking. And I look rather contemplative and I look up at her and I say, grave news, the plot has been discovered. You are in grave danger. Assassins are on their way. We need to get you to safety. Fine. Uh, where, where you think to take me? They say uh, at this point I kind of glance over at my companions. Uh, this... If I may speak, and I'll like quietly put up a hand. You may. I, I have a safe house that is meant for when I need to escape from just being pressured or or needing to hide away from people on the streets. We could take you there. Safer than my own house? It, it is unregistered and nobody knows of it. It's more of an un... Sorry, I just lost the word. <laughs> <laughs> um, adjacent word un unanticipated location for you she narrows her eyes has no link to you directly I see and she looks to you Eckhard you've seen this place it is truly safe they say I trust it with my life mother I would not uh, I would not recommend it if I did not trust it. That is fair. Send uh, go speak to Thrustwell. Get him to check out this place prior. I'll lean in towards like where Eckhart is and just be like, do we think we have time to get this thrust well fellow? You did say it was urgent. I say, and I, I did nod. <laughs> and I say, I'll speak to him, but time is of the essence, mother. We should hurry oh, cool. as, we should hurry along as quickly as possible. Do not worry. He is, as you know, always speedy in his reports. Shit. <laughs> Laughs nervously. Uh, see, I'm just kind of <laughs> like trying to gaze over at Kia, just try, <laughs> sort of like try to. Uh, how can I put this wordlessly? Uh, suggest like maybe this is time for Plan B. <laughs> I would agree. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Except I need a way. I need a, a moment where she's not looking at me to be able to cast a spell. Um. Hmm. I'll, 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 look, I'll look at Bridian or, or uh, yeah, Asmodeus and just kind of like eyes wide. Yeah, I'll walk up and be like, can I get you anything, my lady, from yeah. the kitchen at all? And I'll kind of block her view of Kia yeah. as best I can. What? Get out of my face, second, this, ah, I was yes, going to say the absolute give you time second. to um, cast the spell to, for sure. And just, I'm going to, as quickly as it happens, I'm going to go, we really should go. Duke Van Thumper. And I'm casting Charm Person. 
Okay. Oh, oh shit. No. <laughs> I'm fucking like I'm sweating. My hands are sweating. <laughs> This plan has gone like so well so far. Yeah, it's going okay. It's actually but ridiculous. I'm so nervous. Well. <laughs> it's not in my box. It's I can't enough. believe this is actually working. Um, oh no. Okay. Um, this will either go really poorly, or this will either just work splendidly well. I don't remember what spell book it's in. Hold on. Just to pull it out, John. What the fuck? As soon as I notice that she hasn't been charmed, I'm gonna be like, have her in the chest. Have to make a, a yeah, wisdom like saving throw. Her in the chest. A wisdom saving throw. Thank you. Okay. And it's against my. Oh shit! Where's my spell save DC on here? It's like probably fourteen or thirteen. Should be on. That's actually a good question. I don't remember where it is. Yeah, your DC should be. Uh... You should actually be able to drop the spell on him. So go to. Okay, okay, okay. So try no, 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 no. It'll actually it'll stay in the spell, yeah. Go to your actions. No, no. Like... Hold on, hold on. I'm in actions. Yeah, you're hitting all the buttons. Don't hit all the buttons. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not here. It's in that book. Oh, That's it's in why. the book. That's a bitch. Yep. Can I just drag it over for the sake of saying that I have it? Oh, absolutely. For right now? Okay. Yep. And then Any we can spell that you after. want to regularly prepare and cast, absolutely. You can drag it over to the book. As long as he has okay. the book, it's fine. And then, third... and then from this, you can drop it on her, and we'll see if she succeeds or not. Okay, gotcha. So then I would do this. Yeah, the dice is dragging under gotcha, okay. token. This thing. Yep. Yep. Oh my god. Ha! All right. So she, um, as she's like in the process of telling. Uh, Asmodeus off. She kind of like slows down and goes, not merely a stupor, of course, but um, a li- she s- seems a little more pleasant. She says, Oh, um, yes, I think that actually would be quite nice. She like, oh, hey, off away. we go. <laughs> yep, off we go. <laughs> pip, pip, pop, pop, cheerio, let's go. Get- <laughs> Oh I'll answer God. the I'll answer to the gods outside. All right, so lead the way. How are you leaving this house? Uh, through the front door. <laughs> right. Yep. Oh, wait, yep. which the front door? This way. Uh, no, wait, just... shouldn't we take the back door? No, front door's fine. Okay. I say, I just Mommy, extend Mommy. my hand out to Lady Van Venther and said, "Come along, mother." Yep. She, uh, uh, yeah, she'll follow you. Can't believe this Anyone? fucking worked. <laughs> I know, that's fucking, that's unreal. It's like the first time a D&D plan has ever worked. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't jinx it, don't jinx oh, it. No. Uh, up to this point, it's worked up to this point. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so, yeah, go ahead. We'll take the rear. Huh? Yeah, we're going over here. Okay. I say I pick up the cat. You come along too, buddy. The cat is following along you behind you close. Let me see. So, uh, as you come outside, you see a group of guards uh, rounding the corner towards you. They uh, initially bristle um, their weapons uh, at the ready. Yep. Good day, gentlemen. But as they see uh, the uh, false Amric, they uh, straighten out um, say, like, good evening, sir, kind of deal. Yep. Allow you passage. They say, I just nod and say, very good, gentlemen. Keep up the fine work. Just keep fucking going. I'll wait till everyone's passed, like so you guys all leave first and then. Yep. So everyone manages to make it out okay. And as I leave, a shower of sparks behind me. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I'll close the door. 
close the gate. It's gonna. Quit. So we are now. Now you are outside in the streets of Baldur's Gate. Um, <laughs> you may close the map if you please. We are not using it for the time being. Try to escort her back to yours. Not mine. Not yours. No, no of course we're going to Emmerich's hideout. Yes. Emmerich's hideout, yes. That's what I meant. Of course. I'll lead the way. Keep an eye out for any unwanted visitors. Or unwanted attention. Sounds good. As you uh, make your way uh, towards whatever safe haven you are intending, uh, we'll take a very short break here. I believe there is food ready, and I would like to grab some. Yep. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> Sounds good All to right. me. Let's see. Take a few minutes break. Grab a drink or what have you. Sounds good, man.
Dun, 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 dun. I'm back. You're just in time. We just finished our most beautiful serenading song. Are we serenading the door again? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to work, Ben. I thought for sure it was going to work. <laughs> I still can't believe I didn't notice that. <laughs> what? Was I there for that? Yeah, you've been here. He didn't time. actually say I made the door. It was just... He rolled That's performance correct. instead. I, prefer, gotcha, I right. rolled performance instead of uh, perception right. accidentally. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> so have, you, <laughs> have you guys seen the uh, the t-shirts that are floating around on Facebook right now? Where it's like uh, you reach out to push the ogre off the uh, orc off the ledge, but you caress his back instead. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I seen that. Yeah. I want one. <clears throat> you gently you caress the, the orc's back. He's mildly uncomfortable. <laughs> Apparently, that started with like an actual group. It was on Reddit. And it was, uh, that happened, and then, like, bad rolls after bad rolls, or good rolls after good rolls, I don't know what you would consider it, but, uh, they ended up getting married. <laughs> it was fucking that insane. Was fucking funny. <laughs> only I'll have to see if I can find it. Yeah, right? Only in D&D. And only will you ever find that kind of shit that happens on Reddit. <laughs> So, you lead um, Lady Van Temper back through the city streets to where? I was assuming Eckhart's place, but... Yeah. Back to my place again. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. uh, or or we go to the other Duke. Nope, that could be a big red flag for her right away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um my place then I guess. We'll figure it out when we get there. Yeah, we'll just like restrain her. How long do you how long does the charm last? Um, I think an hour. Let me double check that though. Yeah, one hour. Cool. Okay. Is that enough time? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I was gonna say, hopefully, our one hour on his uh, disguise self doesn't wear off by then, too, eh? I don't like think that'll matter. You can cast it at will. I that's believe. True, that's true, that's true. Oh, you have the mask of many faces. Yep. Oh, nice. Okay. Cool. Okay. So you can just re-up it when you feel like it's getting close. Cool. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Part of the reason why I took it. Very really useful. Very useful. Mm -hmm. So you find yourselves once again back in the uh, apartment owned by your good friend uh, Eckhart. While we have the time, I'm going to take 10 minutes and you guys can do whatever while I do the 10 minutes of this, obviously. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast Detect Magic on her. Okay. I'm ritual casting, so I need I need a little bit of time. Sounds good. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh no. Very well. We'll ignore that for now. That's weird that that didn't proc properly then. Hmm. She's supposed to have advantage on saves against charm. Well, she fails, so. Yes, yes. <laughs> Too late. Or did she? <laughs> yeah, no. Pulls out double blades. You fell into my trap. Stab, stab, stab. Oh my god, could you imagine? She she ended up actually succeeding. She went along with us the whole time, and then she turns turns against us. I just fucking spit on myself. 
So, you lead her into the uh, tiny apartment. Um, you will likely not have much time before her the charm person wears off. What are you doing as uh, Viridian starts to set down to casting Detect Magic? If I know that my charm person spell will will end before his does, I'll just fucking do it again. Okay. This time I'll properly uh, roll. No, please don't. Too bad. <laughs> And I'll do it, like, minutes before it's up, because I don't want to waste, like, ten minutes of the spell. Sure. Just to have her show up. Whoops. So, perhaps in the last, um, like, a few minutes before Viridian will finish his ritual, uh, she will, uh... Require go. another, um... Should we try to pass. restrain her, or, like... <laughs> Uh, restraining her would likely cause cause this charm to end. Okay, fair. Yep. If would the, the actual amric that's would the actual amric that's still like in elsewhere in the apartment would he recognize that his mother's no, he's with the he's with the Duke of this. Oh game, right, right, right. I thought he was still in my apartment for whatever reason. I don't know why. I thought the same thing at first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, crisis averted then. So you recast uh, your um your charm person spell. Yeah, I don't know how to apply it to her without her being on a map. Yeah, so uh, just mark off a cat uh, a use. I've uh, rolled her a wisdom saving throw. Fuck. Okay. Yes, indeed. Fuck. Indeed. Oh. She passed my 13? She got an 18. Okay. Um, is there a candlestick behind me? <laughs> um, uh, yes. <laughs> I mean, it's my place. I'll say what the hell. Yeah, go for yeah, it. Go for it. Really, really quickly, I'm going to look at everybody and just kind of like shake my head as if the spell didn't work. And I'll hold up the candlestick really quick. Uh huh. And I'm waiting for any symbol of somebody saying, no, don't do it. <laughs> okay. I should have done. One, two, Smacking her over the head. Okay. <laughs> Before she has a chance to like br burst out and like start flipping out. Okay. Let's see. Uh, this will likely be a bit of a combat. So let me try and find if I have a map or something that would work. Hmm. Uh, I need to look something up real fast here. Where is library? Ah, well, you, you know what? Let's use the bathhouse just to uh, get positioning. Why not? Why not? Unless, is this a better house? No, that is a worse house. How about this house? That is a worse uh, house. Yeah, I thought you found this uh, like a house for him at one point. Yeah. No, you had a... Picture. He sent me a uh, floor plan, but I forgot to add it. Because I didn't no. expect it. You don't ever expect people to uh, go and do merry combat inside of their own house. Yeah, well, it's mostly for um, it's mostly for positioning, anyways. The actual you gotta expect the unexpected. Probably doesn't matter too much. Oh wait, no, that won't work at all. Curses, curses, curses. Ooh, this is a warlock spell. Hmm, I'm gonna have to keep this in my repertoire and whenever I level up next. <laughs> Please forgive the uh, slight delay. Not a problem. You are all good. It was unprepared. It's okay. <laughs> Sheer panic. <laughs> you think they would have ah? You know what? This will work. Does this have walls? I don't know. Does it matter? Not particularly, probably. Does not have walls. Curses. Does it? It's unclear. No, it does not. Oh well. For illustrative purposes only. Of course. Uh, 
Eckhart. All right. Share records. Yes. Look, there's a house. Wow. <laughs> 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 I'm allergic to it. I'm actually, allergic to it. Get rid of it. <laughs> probably be over here, actually. Oh, there we go. I agree. Oh, tokens are locked as well. Perfect. I take it. Yes. Good. Uh, take a moment. I'd be place... blocking the door. Yeah. Place you yourself around the house, um, as you would be. Well, I'd be standing immediately behind her, or wherever. Okay, okay so you you can be blocking way. the door. That's fine. No, 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 no. no. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay. like I'm behind her because I reached behind me on the the yeah. mantle to grab the camera. I guess I guess I'd be in the where would my workbench be because it was in the corner, right? Yeah. My workbench, yeah. so I like over here, maybe. Sure. Yeah, something right. like yeah, that that would work. Yeah. Cool. All right. Note to self: Add Ben's uh, add Echo's apartment to the. Uh, <laughs> <of maps. laughs> We're all gonna right. try to bring all the major villains of the campaign back here for combat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, at this point, I'd be totally for it. <laughs> Home field advantage, you know. All right, everyone. Uh, we'll roll initiatives. Um, please, if you please. Uh, and Kia, you're gonna get a. Uh, <laughs> well, you go first anyway. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, well, hold on. Maybe yeah, she doesn't say. because maybe. <gasps> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, um. So what happens is, uh, Kia sees her spell fail. You see the uh, Duke begin to shake off her uh, spell effect and rage cloud her face. Um. You reach behind you, grabbing the candlestick, raising it over your head, looking around for approval. Uh, Beridian, you see uh, Kia about to uh, clobber this woman on the head. Brett! And I'll turn, and I'll point my lightning launcher at her and let loose. Roll attack. Oh, oh man, I didn't get a surprise attack. Oh, damn. God damn it. Oh, wow. Okay. She's probably not wearing any armor. <laughs> she is wearing a dress, yes. Yeah. So from my from my wrist, a blue flash of lightning, like an, almost like a little tiny lightning bolt, shoots out and catches her in the like right square in the back. Uh huh. And then it shocks her after it hits her. Like there's like a momentary delay, and then it shocks her. Okay. For that much damage. Okay. Mm, at which point I will move uh, to there. Very well. I like how slowly and <laughs> you like you sauntered over there. <laughs> fair um, enough, fair enough. Yeah, her muscles yeah, stiffen. Kia, you may now go ahead and continue your move. Clobber her over the head, sure. Yes. Are we gonna um, try for non lethal damage or are we just gonna kill her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm going for non lethal. Like I wanna Knock her unconscious. Just okay. as a point of order, I so I hit her in the back with this lightning attack, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, frail old woman does not immediately go down. Like she's standing tall right now, right? She is not frail. Is yeah, uh, no, but she's, she's buffer than you. <laughs> and, yeah, 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 in real life, and and she, um, <laughs> and she's like 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 that. Did she even notice my attack? She stiffened up as she was electrocuted and then, like, turned to face you as Kia brings the candlestick down on top of her head. Okay, here we go. Um, so this, what? An improvised weapon attack. Um, make a strength ability check. Okay, that's not... With advantage? Be... Yes, with advantage. Right. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Strength so ability. So give yourself advantage. Oh yeah. my god, okay. And, and then, then I just take that... Oh my god, this is not gonna go well. That'd be it. And drop it Where's the, the fucking cat? Or theoretically, but whatever. Yeah. Oh, I didn't work. No, I just drop it. Yeah. Yeah, just roll it. Uh huh? Mm -hmm. You crack her on top <laughs> of the head with the candlestick. There's a thunk, a dull thunk. Uh, roll 1d6 plus your strength uh, as you clop <laughs> her over the head. So it's going to be 1d6 <laughs> minus, minus one. one. Yes. Okay, so how do I do uh, that? So I just roll take a this? d6, yeah. This is. 
improvised thing. Uh, okay, there you okay. Go. So five. Five. <laughs> yep. See, does this work if I just drop this on her? No, okay. Of course not. Of course I'm going to laugh if she rolled a one. I don't right. laugh. Imagine she... zero damage. I mean, that's kind of what I'm going for, is zero damage. Just well, knock yeah. her out. <laughs> yeah. So, you crack her on the top of the head as she turns to face Viridian, who is now striding around the room. Um, uh, her her head dips slightly, looks up, glares over her shoulder at you. She's still up. Do you have anything else you'd like to do? No! Can I do it again? <laughs> this chick's going to have like a lot of health. Like She's going to be hard to take down, I think. Oh, yep. God. I really just want to just clobber her again, but I don't think I can at this point. I think you could technically make a bonus action to punch her, but that does your strength and damage. Your strength modifier and damage. So <laughs> zero. Sorry, <laughs> it's, one, it's one plus strength. <laughs> so zero. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so... Okay. Well, so then, no. Um, I will... Unless you have a bonus action spell. Oh, that's what I'm looking at. Mending message where I your strike. No. I don't think so. Just like mm -hmm. whacking up, cracking on the top yeah, of the hold head. On. Of the hold on, is this a? Uh... No, I have to lay this down. I think. Yeah, have it prepared. Either. Yeah. Oh, that's right. No. Not used to having to prepare things. No, I'm done then. Very I'm well. just standing there, like staring at her, like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, it was like not unlike hitting uh, a wall. She is very tough. Uh, Eckhart, you're up as uh, this massive woman starts to uh, go after someone behind you. What are you doing? Uh, at this point, I think I just willingly let my um, my disguise self drop mm -hmm. because she's pretty much under under the understanding that yeah, no, she's been had. Yep. Um, uh, I'm gonna take my in my rapier. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do basically the same thing. Instead of hitting her with the blade, I'm just going to strike her with the pommel. Yep. Make an attack. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Nice. <laughs> just like reach up, crack her in the, in the jaw. Uh, would I be able to use my sneak attack <laughs> to also deal an additional dagger strike? Yes. Uh, you may. Yes, you may absolutely apply your sneak attack damage. Alrighty. Uh... And yes, you may also make a bonus action to use your dagger to hit her as well, if you would like. That's the sneak attack damage there. And... That hits. Alright, yeah, using... Uh, taking the dagger and spinning it around in my hand just to grasp it by the, uh, the grip. I also use the pommel and just BAM! Right in her side. All right. So you give her the old one, two. Yep. She grins. Says, "My turn." Oh no! You gotta summon like a bunch of demons or something, or bamf <laughs> out of here. Yeah. So the first thing she does. We didn't think this through. Is try no. to punch you in the face, Eckard. <clears throat> Can't say I didn't have to see this coming. How does a thirteen hit you? <laughs> Very low AC. Oh my god. God damn it. You get a solid crack in the ribs mm. um, from her massive fist. And with her other hand, she uh, points an open palm at uh, Beridian. I believe ranged spell attacks are made with disadvantage while in melee. Yeah. Yep. yep. <clears throat> As a dark uh, beam of energy gathers in her palm and smashes a hole through the wall behind you. Hey Sorry, man, you know how much the run of this place is? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, Asmodeus, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm just saying, fuck this bitch. I'm going to fall on try to kill her. <laughs> okay. I'm going to bonus action cast uh, X on her. Okay. We need her, though. For what? 
this is just out of character. I'm not like. Oh, okay, yeah. No, this, Asmodeus does not give a fuck. He's just like, this chick's a threat. I'm going to kill her. <laughs> um, I want to make a ranged spell attack. Nah, not really. Yep, so I'm just going to go at her with my dagger. Oh, with advantage. I forgot. That hits. Good thing, too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you strike her with you, stab her in the side with your dagger, um, flame pours out of her wound. You make a dexterity saving throw, I believe. Let's see if this is going to work. Oh, and uh, with the hex, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, she has disadvantage on strength ability checks. Very well. As you uh, stab her in and out, um, she uh, the flame trails uh, down the length of the blade. You almost manage to pull away in time. As uh, f uh, black flames engulf you. Anything else? Uh, nope. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Panic slightly. Viridian, you're up as you see all of this uh, as you recover from nearly being uh, shot through the head. Oh, I gotta make a constitution saving throw. Hold on. Yeah. Because that's a concentration spell. Um... Ah, shit. Hex drops. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna pull out a dagger and try and stab her, yeah. Alright. You guys watch that go badly. Well, yeah. <laughs> I think I think I understand. So she's a spellcaster, and she's casting. She casts a cast a defensive spell, but she shouldn't be able to do it twice. That'd be my understanding. A reactionary so, spell, yeah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Look um, at um. One thing I want to uh, point out is look at the turn order. Oh wait, no, never mind. You're right. Her, uh, you are correct. Yeah, it's yeah. Part of her turn, not the round uh, start. My yeah. bad. Thank you very much, me. I mean, that, I mean, obviously that's just that's Bridian's assumption based mm -hmm. on what he knows of mm -hmm. spellcasting, but she's also probably not a wizard. I I don't think. So I don't know. But anyways, uh, I'm still gonna go for a stab. I don't have advantage, right? Nope. That hits. Stabber. Stab in, pull out, and yeah, and I'm gonna maybe. No, that's it. That's my turn. Yeah. Kia, what are you doing? As uh, you see, uh, the plan quickly going awry as uh, mm -hmm. Lady Vanthamper is uh, stabbed twice. What are you doing? Um. So I'm casting uh, sleep. Very well. Now, I can control it, right? Oh, thank you. I can I control the area that it's in, right? Like, I can say that, like, it's not going to go and get yeah. Asmodeus. Like, I can just make it on her. Let me double check. You can put me to sleep. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> well, no, so it, just, that was... it was the way that it's worded was weird. Yeah. How it works is... Creatures within 20 feet of the point within you range that um, yes. you choose. Oh, you choose. Okay, okay. Yeah. I must have missed that part. Okay. Yeah. So then I will cast sleep. Do I do this? And then just drag it on her? Well, that's an unconscious effect, so that's, that is really connected. Coincidentally, uh, this was exactly the spell I was saying that I was like, oh, hey, this is a warlock spell. I'll have to make sure I keep this in my repertoire next time I level up. Uh, creatures within 20 feet of a point you choose in range, within range. I th you can put me to sleep, I don't care. Actually, let me double check that, because yeah, that is worded really poorly. <laughs> uh, you choose, to my, to my yeah. understanding, right? You that. choose means that you can choose that one. So we'll go, roll your 5d8 anyways. Yeah, roll them anyway. Do I click on modifier, or do I click this plus 5 button? Uh, mm. No, hold on. Go to the D8. Mm -hmm. And before you click, I'm going to hold this. Click it. No, sorry. This. Click it. No. How do you pick up more than one dice at a time? Right mouse button. Yep. Right mouse button. Ah. Uh -huh. right. Uh -huh. There we go. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. You think? <laughs> I feel like she's not asleep, but yeah. So if she's under twenty-three hit points, she falls asleep. But if not, <laughs> yeah. Yep. A uh, let's see. I think so, yeah, but a group of uh, well, a uh, well, what does the spell look like? I suppose as the sand. Yeah. So, like, um, let me double check here. But so, like, my hands will like come up and over her head as if like I'm dropping sand on her, and it looks like a very fine like glitter mist almost, and it's pale blue in color. And it just, like, starts to, like, coalesce around her face and then just, like, in her in her okay. mouth, nose, eyes, and whatnot. Just want to double check. Yeah, this is such a poorly worded spell. Uh, Eckhart falls asleep. Eckard? Yeah. What? But I didn't choose him to fall asleep. It turns out that the spell does, in fact, not let you choose. The point is what you choose, not... Oh, oh for so, well, so, you, so you could pick a point that doesn't include Eckard or somebody. Oh, okay, yeah. Like it, for... You can make it so like it, it does me and her, but I'm probably going to be the one that goes to sleep anyways. Well, if you have more than 20... Three hit points. I you won't don't fall. at this point. Oh, you don't. That is correct. Yes. You could also target it in such a way that it will hit you, and elves are immune to the sleep effect. Oh well, then there you go. Oh okay, yeah. Like if I'm, I would obviously know yes. this then. Like it's just my dumb dumbness. And so, yes. yeah. Okay, so then I'd make it so that it doesn't affect any of my friends. And if I have to be in that circle, then I'm. It doesn't matter to me. 20 foot circle, you could probably put it in the corner. <laughs> right in the corner. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <clears throat> All right. Um, she blinks, yawns briefly, but remains upright. Yeah, I thought she'd have more hit points than that. Okay, I'll try that again at a later date. Yes. And that is my turn then. Eckhart. As uh, your apartment is being ruined all around you by combat, what are you doing? <laughs> I eternally bemoan the fact that, oh, there goes my safety deposit. <laughs> I got you covered. I got mending. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, other than that, uh, just second verse, same as the first. All right, go for it. It's... <laughs> Max nice. damage, nice. Uh, sneak attack damage on that too. Mm -hmm. That Less was nice, but barely even a roll. And then use bonus action to uh, dagger. To dagger, yeah. That hits. What? The hell? I oh, I think it's because I was hitting. Um, I was holding shift down at that point. Let me roll that again. Uh, okay. And it's still coming out with the same roll. Nice. All right. Well, same cumulative roll anyway. All right. So. Uh, what she does. Hmm. Let me look something up really quick. Oh, no, please don't. <laughs> Okay. So, she uh, sees you there, Eckerd, and she uh, gives you a shove. Balls. This will be a... Ah, uh, oh, fuck. Never mind. I forgot she doesn't... Yeah, never mind. Dex, a acrobatics or athletics check to resist. Your choice. Nice. 
uh, you manage to uh, maintain your footing as she gl glowers at you. Then uh, uh, goes to give you a uh, cl uh, sock in the jaw. She took her sock off? Which, uh, <laughs> of course. So she curses loudly and then just bolts uh, hmm. Is there any way for her to go out? Unless she plows right through Quickly. as her days. <laughs> yeah. Which she can't anymore. Yeah. Very well. I mean, uh, she could probably, you know, take a few steps back out of our range and, you know, evoke an attack of opportunity. Yeah, she's trying to escape through the window. You're up, Asmodeus. Yep, okay. Um, yeah, I'm still trying to kill this bitch, so <laughs> I'm going to stab her with a dagger. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, critical strike. <laughs> Ah, she's not dead. And then I'll instruct... Yeah, I'll get it. There we go. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> and then I'll instruct uh, Nurgle on my bonus action to uh, you... sting her. Alright, and as you strike her, uh, the flames again uh, snake out at you. Ooh, fuck. <laughs> uh, okay, Nurgle to sting. Let's see. I can click and drag it. Here, let's oh, try yeah, this. Do it then. Yes, do it. Absolutely. I hit. All right. Hold on. There's more. She succeeded. But wait, there's more. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Damn, Daniel. Uh, she took half of that, though. Hmm. Unsure. Because she, because she succeeded. So. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Either way. Um, as the sting, uh, stinger go buries itself in her neck and pulls itself free, she slumps to her knees, um, and then crumples to the ground. Um, as the light fades from her eyes. Uh, quick cure wounds. Quick cure wounds. No. Yes. Alas, not. Oh. Uh. Fucking bitch nearly killed me. She uh, mutters out, I'll see you all in hell. Unlikely, bitch. Well, actually, probably really likely. Yep. Broken, <laughs> unlocked. Shit. Button. So, she lies dead on the ground in front of you all. Ugh, I need a break. Oh, thank oh, you, Echo. <clears throat> Good job, Nego. And I'll like give him a pat on the head as he's sitting on my shoulder. I'm gonna go restart my ritual casting of uh, detect magic. So much work, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> this didn't. Hmm. So good, right till the end. I say I just go over to partly inspect the damage of the wall, but at the same time, just kind of like place my hand up against the undamaged part and just shake my head. Like, well, I could have gone better. Um, I am pale as a ghost, mm -hmm. but I'll walk over to the wall and I'll, I don't know if this will work or not, but I'll cast Mending. Yeah, it will take some time, but the wall will <clears throat> um, slowly knit itself back together. Oh, I appreciate the, <laughs> you have no idea how uh, glad I am on that. <laughs> My safety deposit. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help but make the joke. <laughs> Saved you 250 gold. No worries. Get that. I didn't kill her. Nurgle did. Doesn't matter anyways. <clears throat> Well then, one of the grand patriarchs of Baldur's Gate lies dead in uh, on the floor in front of you. What now? 
Uh, at least she can't cause any more damage. Maybe the cultist won't be able to uh, organize as well now. While I go quickly search for a blanket to just kind of drape it over her her body, I'm like thinking to myself, fuck, what do I do? To, what, how the hell do we get rid of this? Oh, I'm going to search her body. All right. Searching her body, you find a uh, some simple uh, jewelry, but she didn't have much on her person. Yep, pocketing um, the jewelry. Sure. Um, otherwise, uh, no, she had nothing on her person. I mean, she was in her own home. Fair enough. Took her, so. I mean, leader of occultists or otherwise, I mean, she was still the Grand Duke. <laughs> How the hell are we going to explain this to Portier? Well, she wasn't the Grand Duke. She was trying a to duke. Get... She, wait, yeah. she was a duke. I mean, yeah. Duke. Um, yeah. I apologize. <laughs> and now we've just killed her without having any evidence of what she had been doing. I took the numerous death. mental pictures. If that helps. Well, that's great for you if there's somebody who could read your mental pictures. Oh, I'm sure there is a way. Oh, God, idiots. I we didn't need proof that she was committing criminal acts. We already have that, right? Yes, we had that note with her so, name. So I think we just need to tell the Duke exactly what happened to Portier and hope that that's good enough. I'm sure it's fine. He wouldn't mess with us. I mean, we did save his life. Okay, so what time is it now? Hmm, Bedtime. Probably be about yeah, it would be getting on towards maybe like two one thirty, two a.m. Should we perhaps set up some type of uh, defenses and or traps or something? Does anybody have a way of, of managing that? I can have Nurgle take watch, but we should all just still yeah. rotate. No, 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 we're taking watch. That sounds good. But okay, no, we can also do that. Go outside, and if anyone approaches, anyone suspicious approaches the building, let me know. Actually, if I have a little more time, I can also do something for us on that as well. I mean, as far as you know, you have nothing but time. All right. So, so whenever my um, detect magic is done, mm -hmm. I will then also uh, the main door to the building. I will cast the alarm spell on. on. Very well. So, uh, detect magic. Let's see. She does. Her body glows. It does glow. It does. Uh, let's see. That's not how you spell it. There we go. Perfect. Hmm. Hmm. Abjuration. And transmutation magic. Oh, I believe God. that's you can see what types of magic were affecting her, right? Like uh, yes, spell effects? yes, okay. Is it like is it like uh, something she's wearing that's giving off that light, or is it? No, it seems person? as though um, in a like a magical effect was placed on her. Huh. Some type of protective magic, perhaps, or I mean, abjuration and transmutation. Transmutation, protection, and changing. Disguise. Could be disguise, could be oh, something else. Gods. She's not a devil. I would assume if she, when we killed her, she would turn back if she was a devil, but maybe. I'm just, I was worried about divination magic, so I think we're okay that way. I think. Can I, can I make an arcana check? Is it, like, does any of this suggest to me that, um, that there could be like a divination spell that's on her, like somebody could track her. Sure, yeah, go for an arcana check. Okay. Still thinking it's divination, but. Ah! Ooh, I was that on was the point. Oh, yeah, close. <laughs> yeah, so... um, you are a very, you are very confident that um, she is not being, at least based on what you're seeing here, does not indicate that she would be, uh watched in any way okay okay um while the detect magic is is working for me mm -hmm. that cat's in the room right 
Yes, oh, the cat followed you. No. What do I get from the cat? Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. This is a good question. What is this cat? Nothing. No spells are affecting this this creature. Good, good, good. Okay, okay. Um, at which point I'll head over to wherever the main like main door to the building is. Mm -hmm. Um, or actually, where are you putting Norville? I was just telling him to uh, circle above, or just stay on the slope of the roof or something inconspicuous. He'd be in which, which, whichever door he's is there only one one way in to the building. Uh, let's see. So yeah, like um, the apartments I'm a, would be yeah, they'd have one central area, then a perhaps a staircase where uh, the rooms lead off of. So yes, there is mm -hmm. one way in and out, effectively. But other people might use that doorway. Yes. Okay, just on our door, just on the door to like Eckard's apartment. Sure. I'll put the uh, put the alarm spell. So the I'll put cat. a little like line on the uh, doorknob so that if anybody opens it other than us. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll it'll like set off like a red alert sound. Very well. Like uh, like command and conquer. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. So you all settle down for the night. I take it. Yep. Say so, yeah. <laughs> Um, let's we need see. to take a quick look out the window, just in case. Sure, roll perception. Okay. <clears throat> the cat hops up and peers out the window alongside you, curiously. Uh, balls. You don't see anything, but the cat hisses and uh, swats at the air. Mm hmm There we go. Um... I don't like. I would maybe like look harder. I guess I don't know. Like try and look. <laughs> no, that's all. That's all. You don't see anything. God damn! What the fuck? Something invisible. As as Medea says under his breath. God, I've got a splitting oh. headache. Oh yes. Okay. Sorry. Yes. The cat can okay. see. The cat could see my Nergo when he was invisible. So I'm assuming it may be something invisible. Um, do you think it could be seeing Nurgle or something else? Uh, I wouldn't be seeing... Well, I could be seeing Nurgle, but I doubt it. Nurgle would be up on the roof. Oh, well, that's more worrying. Um, Just to confirm, where's Nurgle from? Um, hell, I assume. He's a fiend. So, a, a hellish cult could perhaps have their own no. imps no. that could be invisibly watching us right now? Absolutely. Well, okay then. Anybody have seen visibility? Can anybody I see anything? In this? I nope. wish I had a ring of true seeing, but unfortunately, I do not. Even Nurgle can't see anything invisible, unfortunately. I think we're gonna have to figure out a way to get out of here first. Um, I don't want to drag a body through. Uh, the only thing I could could think is that maybe we should have the like get word to the duke now and ask him to meet us here with with an entourage. Yeah. Um. I think I have the message spell. Does how long? How far does message go though? Like does a cantrip? Not oh, that far. Shit. Okay. Message is like a hundred feet. Yeah, you need sending. Do not have sending. Fuck. No one has sending. Don't worry. No. Yeah, that's like what a third level spell. Maybe yeah. Second level. Well, okay. I was hoping. Oh, let me see if my uh, speaking of books. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, possibly. We'll see. No. Uh, red spell book. No. Dusty spell book. Also no. Yeah. Okay. No. 
Black spell book? <laughs> Jesus. Also, no. Fanning through all the books. <laughs> How can I send a message? <laughs> After what a while, that? the cat calms down um, and uh, stops reacting to whatever it is outside of the window. Not a good sign. It's left and it's going um, to get pee. I'm going to have Nergo try to talk to. I'm going to have Nergo come back inside and I'll get him to try to talk to the cat in Infernal. I don't know if the cat will be able to talk to it. The cat uh, hisses at Nurgle and doesn't seem to understand what... Okay, never mind then. Back to your post. I'll try speaking and Sylvan to it. <laughs> Ooh. The cat just looks at you. It's a fucking cat, you guys. Uh... Okay. Um... Oh, 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 oh. Hold then, on, wait. Hey, wait, I want to see. How do I see that? Uh, um, if you can't speak Sylvan, then you won't be able to see oh, it. Oh, 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 gotcha. Right. I mean, you can speak Sylvan. I can see that you can understand it. Oh, yeah, it just, I didn't understand where to look to see the translation. Yeah, it's above it for some reason. reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Figured it out. No reaction other than it's looking at me? Yeah. It's yeah, as okay. if you, it's no under, like no understanding. I'll it's try, it. Elvish. Fuck it. I mean, it responded to Amrick in common. Same deal. No, seem seemingly does not understand. What okay, you're I give up. I'm sleeping on the couch. Yeah, I'll I'll scratch it behind the ears and just go. What was it? What did you see? The cat uh, looks up at you, then out at the window, and then up at the ceiling. Uh, like in the house? Yeah. Not oh. like at anything, but like towards like... Nurgle. So you probably saw another imp. That would be my interpretation, but. Understands common, but cannot speak. Okay, so I'll scratch its little head and say thank you. Uh. Okay, who wants to come with me to tell the Duke? Alec, I'm now. rather winded. I don't think we should split up either. Ah, oh, fine. No, like meaning maybe we should just spend the night. Oh. And if we get surrounded or get bamboozled in the night? I'm worried that whatever it is that the cat saw is going to go report back and they're all going to rush here to try and kill us. Like, I understand that we are winded and we are depleted of spells and low on health, but I prefer not to lose any lives tonight. I mean, other than the one that we've already if, disposed if of. If then you're already discovered leaving one by one ain't gonna do us any good. Then I suggest we all leave as a group and just burn this place down. Sorry, I got sacrifice that must be made. Um, I don't think that's necessary. No, nope, well, absolutely necessary. I would say, uh, I would say that it is true. We don't want to leave the body. A resurrection spell could bring her back. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on. What do I have here? So disposing of the body might be what we have to do first. I just don't think us carrying the body through town unless we can do it discreetly. It is the middle of the night, but... Bone of animation. Pardon? Never mind. That, <laughs> that won't work. <laughs> no, but that you said, you said bone of animation? Yes, I have a it, bone of animation. It would, it would partially work. Uh, it, would be, it would be it, funny. No, the bone turns into a skeleton, that's right, though. That's right. It would still be funny. <laughs> I'm not going to use that right now. It would be funny, but I always forget that I have it. I have you don't have a cart, do you? I'm sorry, what? Do you have a cart, Eckerd? Um, I suppose I could. <laughs> I can try to disguise her. Make her look like someone else. I'm just thinking, if we throw in like the back of a cart and then just like throw stuff on top of her and head to the Duke's house. Let's just throw in a sack. Ourselves. 
Let's she's just a large her woman. Who's going to carry the sack? You. Nope. I'll, I'll carry her. The armor makes me look strong, but I am not. I'm not very strong. The Hence sound. a cart. So, Ekod, yeah. you can carry her. <clears throat> Sick. <clears throat> Into the alleyway through the window. Is there a cart anywhere nearby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you peer down. Um, Eckhart, what floor do you live on, by the way? Ground floor. Ground floor? Perfect. Okay. So you peer Oh, out. is there a barrel? We could just shove her into a barrel. <laughs> and what? Roll the barrel down the road? No. Or just leave her in the barrel. They'll never find her. It's the perfect crime. And if they choose to locate an object that she's wearing? I took. I've taken all of her objects. We you stripped strip her naked? naked? What? We and could take a look under naked. the. Oh, you could. Yes. Um, we could strip her naked. I've taken all of her valuables. I think what I'm referring to is if they have a way of. Um, Locate creature. Is that her... what you're referring to? Yes. Especially if she's transmuted or if she has. Um, It'd be divinity a based. But no, we, we should try and take her with us if we can, yes. Um, yes, there are. Uh, is there some storage in the. Uh alleyway outside the window some crates barrels few hand carts here and there yes okay let's get her into a hand cart throw some rags on her throw some like raggedy ass so throw her in a sack and then put her in the cart sure sure that sounds right. better that sounds easier than having her in loosely of rags okay let's do it and then also <laughs> if there's any like poor woman's body. Fabrics, it's fucking something if there's any like scrap fabrics anywhere, oh yeah, like, uh, there's just toss nothing. them and tie them onto like our clothing. Oh, did she have a signet ring? Uh, she did oh. have a signet ring. I will take that for sure. So you um, uh, yeah, you absolutely can do that. There's enough material in the alley that you can kind of make yourselves look homeless, <laughs> if that is what you want. Yep. And I'm going to ask... I'm already disguised. I'm good. No, I'm not going to look homeless. <laughs> um, I'm going to ask the cat. Mm -hmm. Come, come. And I'm going to, like, pat my... Sh How big is this fucking thing? Hold on. Is it, uh, like, a small thing? Okay, so it's small. So I'll, like, pat my shoulder. And then I'll say, um, cat, in common... Yeah, yeah, in common, I'll just say, warn me if you see anything fluttering about. And then I'll scratch its, like, ears. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The fact that this cat is not loyal to this lady is like bad. It's hilarious. We just like it's... fed her food and she loves us. Yeah. Like that it's is... not great because this poor cat, but at the same time, like thank the fucking lord that this cat is not attacking us or like going to warn other people. Yep. Hey, being kind to uh, the small animals helps out every so often. The exact yeah, the thank wording you is for the cat will it. follow you around if you feed it. Thank you. There you for... go. Okay. Before we leave, too, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and cast uh, Cure Wounds on Asmodeus. Sounds good. Oh, thank you. I was feeling, feeling very weary. That's the most damage I've taken in a long time. So I just, like, raise my wrist up and open like open it, like, uh, yeah, wrist side to you. And, uh, like, I spray this blue mist in your face. There you go. Oh, what was that? <coughs> Surprisingly, yes. I yeah, it's, a, it's that. an interesting concoction uh, that I've created. And, uh, yeah, I don't really care. All right. I'm sorry, <laughs> have time. I'm sorry love. So, you uh, you hastily uh, stuff the body into a cart, pile things up and around it, um, and cart her off towards the uh, uh, no the uh, manor-born quarter of the city. Um, <laughs> right in the middle of the night. <laughs> right, should be fine. It, are there guards? Uh, there are. Okay, I'm gonna run up ahead of everybody mm -hmm. and like pull down my hood and show off my signet ring and go quickly. We need access. Yeah, they uh, absolutely. They give you a a look like uh, this is clearly strange, but they don't try to stop you. Um, yeah, if I. I'll toss them a gold. If there's two of them? Yes. I'll toss them a gold each. Yep. Absolutely. No words said at all. I don't know what you're talking about, ma'am. Yep. Quickly, go! <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, they, they, get, they watch your curious procession as you uh, make your way into the uh, 
into the into the upper city proper, but don't say or anything. And, uh, quickly disappear from view as you worm your way through the streets and up into in front of the uh, Duke Portier's home. As you uh, prepare to knock on the door uh, and think about what exactly it is you are going to say, we will call it here for now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like I'm sweating, guys. <laughs> like, Fucking stressed. In overdrive. <laughs> that was a good heist. We we pulled. That we, was a good heist. Yeah. We pulled a really good heist, and then and then I killed immediately them. fucked it up. <laughs> yeah. Come on. We almost yeah, made it. Almost. She was trying to kill me, so Nurgle had to protect me. Ah, oh, fake it till you make it. <laughs> So I believe this Saturday we will be back to Out of the Abyss. It's looking up for that, I believe. All right, all right. All right um, all which right. is good for me because I need to figure out what the fuck is going on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't send anything after us, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm just proud of us for getting out of there quickly as soon as that thing disappeared. Yeah. We hope. We hope. Yes. We hope. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Because it would not be good. And the cat never alerted me on the entire journey. Uh, if was Nurgle flying overhead? Uh, Maybe Nurgle would have been. Uh, yeah, he would have been kind of following overhead as a raven. Mm-hmm. Or invisible, yeah, either cat, or doesn't matter. The cat um definitely would look over its shoulder occasionally to up uh to where Nurgle is. Um. Uh, I almost said Xander. Fuck. <laughs> that guy's dead, man. Rest in, rest oh, in rough, peace. Rough. That's his other character. Rough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now he's playing as a as a um, half orc, a very a very entertaining half orc barbarian. It's, it, it's a lot of fun. I'm very that loved. Was. Yeah. <laughs> um, um. Okay, so if it keeps looking at the raven, I just potentially like. I'd realize that okay, one, it's not invisible, and two, I'd clarify with Asmodeus. Yeah, that, and then yes. if it doesn't look at anything else or anything else weirdly or or notify me in any way, then I'd assume we're good. Yeah. Very well. All right, thanks. Yes, you are not. Thank you for the session, guys. Yeah. Of course. Mm-hmm. It's a mid epic. Absolutely mess. bananas. Yeah. Yeah. There was that. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll talk to you on uh, Saturday. All right, sounds, sounds good. good. Talk to you later. Do games in a week. Yes, bye, sir. Take it easy, guys. Yep. Take it easy. Yep. Bye. Later, guys.